welcome to a new advanced quick case rad bits video. We will do today's case in a different way. I'll give you the chance to look at the stack of images, try to detect the abnormality and decide for yourself what would make the most likely diagnosis. You could pause here and try to think about what you saw before we go to the answers. Looking carefully at these images, you might have noticed that the proximal celiac artery is stenotic. Additionally, the stenosis is followed by post-stenotic dilatation. Now such findings might be very difficult to see on an axial acquisition, so let's look together at the sagittal reefer mats. It is much easier here to appreciate the proximal stenosis of the celiac artery and the post-stenotic dilatation, and to notice that the stenosis is actually caused by a soft tissue density that crosses from side to side. Now let's discuss this finding. So what is it that has soft tissue density and crosses on top of the proximal portion of the celiac artery from one side to side? This actually represents what is called the median arcuate ligament, which is a ligament that connects the right and left diaphragmatic crura, and usually is connecting the crura at a higher level than the origin of the celiac artery. But in a proportion of patients, this crosses over the celiac artery. It is important to remember that only a proportion of these patients may have symptoms, so this appearance should always be correlated with the clinical picture before calling the syndrome. Going back to the appearance on the sagittal image, the classic appearance has been described as a hooked appearance of the celiac artery. So the diagnosis is median arcuate ligament syndrome if the patient is symptomatic. And the take-home points are always check the sagittal images for the appearance of the aorta and its branches and remember that this appearance may be seen in asymptomatic patients. Before we finish, I'm going to leave you with a small quiz. My question is, what are those two structures? You've seen them on the axial stacks as well. You could go back to that and try to decide what you think those are. I'm going to leave this as an open question for about two days. You could post your answers on our Twitter account under the name vid7answer. By this we end. Thank you for watching. Please share our videos, subscribe, like, and join our Twitter account. See you later.